Well, violence erupted in Paris today when protesters clashed with police on the eve of a major climate change conference. The city is still under a state of emergency following the deadly terrorist attacks that killed 130 people earlier this month. CBS 4's Brian Webb has the latest. Paris police fired tear gas to break up protesters defying a government ban on demonstrations. Other protesters were beaten with batons. Nearly 200 were arrested. These demonstrators formed a human chain along the route of a long planned protest march through central Paris. Nearby, thousands of shoes were set out to symbolize the many feet that could not march because of the ban. What we're seeing here is an outpouring of determination from Parisians to be heard nonetheless. The nearly two week climate change conference will address greenhouse gases, which are blamed for rising temperatures. 147 world leaders will be there, including President Barack Obama, who paid respects to the terror attack victims by laying a single white rose at a memorial site. The president on Tuesday praised France's decision not to call off the conference. What a powerful rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. There are 120,000 security forces stationed across France to brace for the biggest security challenge since the terrorist attacks. Nearly a thousand people thought to pose a security risk have been blocked from entering the country still in mourning. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. Rally organizers estimate more than a half million people participated in marches in 175 countries.